Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the Housecoat Gamer. Let's try this again, shall we? So, I have a storm. Here we go. We are sending a fleet to the Mirror Universe to engage the Terrans in the Pavo system. It is our intention to disrupt their operations there and prevent the Terran Emperor from subjugating the entity known as the Other. I'd like you to be a part of this operation. Report to Captain Sean on board the USS Enterprise once you've arrived in the Pavo system on our side of the mirror. Yes, I am going to be using the same ship I used last time, which, in case anyone was wondering, is the Tier 6 Guardian Cruiser. Fleet variant. With all with almost entirely fleet gear. I'm what can I say? I wanna make sure I can actually kill everything. And as stated before, I really want this bridge. Yeah, I was doing end devs earlier. It ended kind of annoyingly. Welcome aboard. We can begin the briefing once Admiral Lita decides to grace us with her presence. Unclear. For some reason, she wanted to go over things here, rather than on a secure comms channel. True. And the stakes don't get much higher than they are now. Incoming signal from the Enterprise. Uh, that is to say, the ISS Enterprise. Admiral Lita requests permission to beam aboard, Captain. Looks that way. Permission granted, Kiona. Instruct them to beam her directly to the bridge. Ready to get to the bottom of this Terran cloak and dagger? I'll be sure to forward your feedback to... Well, this certainly is a clean bridge, Captain. No blast marks, no blood stains on the carpet. To remind people what happens to traitors. I'll be sure to forward your feedback to Starfleet Command. In the meantime, I suggest going over any last-minute details we need to ensure... Uh, Captain, Captain, please. I've been in every tactical meeting you have. I know this for you. We're going back to my Pavo to engage the Terran fleet in battle before the Emperor can pull off whatever mad scheme he's conjured up. It's a bold, mad, and extremely dangerous plan. Must be why I like it so much. I realize defeating the Emperor's fleet is a tall order, but we're hoping a victory at Pavo will give Ilea the opportunity to make contact with the Other once more. Convince them that we're not their enemy. Taking down the Acheron isn't going to be easy, Captain. We Terrans have a saying, if you mean to slay the Emperor, don't miss. <laughs> Believe me, when I get the shot, I don't plan on missing. When you get the shot, not if? <laughs> You're awfully confident, Admiral. Mm, let's just say, you don't get as far as I have in the Terran Empire without having a damn good backup plan at all times. So, you do your part, Captain, and I'll do mine. Things go according to plan. We'll send the Emperor back to Terra with his tail between his legs. And give your bald friend here a shot at talking down the other before they digitize us all. Huh. She's definitely up to something. I don't like it. And why should we? Sir, I recommend assigning a team to monitor the actions of Lita's vessel. If she means to turn on us, or quit the field, we'll want to know as soon as possible. Under the circumstances, I think an extra layer of security is a good idea. Make it happen, Kiona. I don't have a good feeling about this. 
Lita might decide it's in her best interest to side with the Emperor. Old habits tend to die hard, after all. I hope you're right, for all our sakes. In the meantime, we should make our final preparations before we set out for Pavo. See you there. Let's hope this goes a lot more smoothly than it did last time. Everyone's reporting in. Final preparations are wrapping up, and the fleet will be underway soon. Acknowledged. Once we're on the other side, each squadron will form up around their assigned intel ship. Keep them in one piece. They're your ticket home. Our primary target is the ISS Acheron. She's the Terran flagship, commanded by the Emperor himself. We've identified a large number of capital ships and escorts in place to protect the Acheron at all costs. Expect heavy resistance. This is it, everyone. Good luck. We'll see you on the other side. Enterprise out. Enterprise to fleet. Prepare to get underway. It's good to see you again. Looking forward to a rematch with the Terrans? I know we are. Can't you to fleet. Intel vessels are standing by to generate the portal to the Mirror Universe. The honor is yours. We'll open the portal on your mark. The word is given. Attention Terran forces, this is Captain Bakel Shan. On behalf of the Alliance, I am asking you to stand down and disengage from the entity known as the Other. Any further attempts to subjugate this life form will be considered an act of aggression, and will be dealt with accordingly. Yeah, I really just want to sit here and listen to the, to the music, because it's really good. I'm a sucker for the blaster beam. Sue me. Tough talk for someone about to have their backside handed to them, Captain. Check your sensors. There's no way you're getting the win here today, even with two Enterprises. <laughs> you still haven't figured out Starfleet, have you, Sylvia? Let me break it down for you. Sean's little speech was the Velvet Glove. If you don't shut up and stand down, you're about to meet the Iron Fist. Funny thing about iron, Lita, it melts. And all of you idiots just flew into a crucible. Maybe we'll forge what's left of your ships into something useful when it's over. Or maybe we'll leave the debris field here as a monument to your complete and total failure. Tilly out. So much for diplomacy. Looks like they're going for our intel ships. Naturally, Terran captains will be looking for the big threat of the Emperor. Right. Let's make sure we deny this out of our way. Status report. What just happened? Every ship in the fleet is trapped in chroniton stasis. For lack of a better term, we're stuck in a time bubble. Captain, we're being hailed by the Emperor. 
on screen. Your Majesty. Captain Sean, you fought well, all of you. But it's over. All good things must come to an end, after all. Over? This isn't over. It'll be over when we knock that smug look off your face. Well, you're certainly welcome to try when I return, Adam. For now, however, my destiny awaits. <laughs> here so I can kill you. Hey, look at that! That's a Shinzao! Also, about bloody time they started, you know, including some of the other ships in here. I can see California, the Gagarin. I'm pretty sure that command battle cruiser. That one is an inquiry. And it is! Well, I suppose everyone's l running out of excuses now, are they? <laughs> Alone? Against the Acheron and the other? That's suicide! Stick with the plan, Lita. We need you here, now! Aw, oh, I'm flattered, Captain, but we both know the real fight's inside the other. With the big cheese himself. All you need to do is keep him busy out here. I got this. Lita out. Enterprise is the least of our problems. I'm reading Terran reinforcements approaching the system at high warp. I see they haven't fixed that. At last, the very core of the other. Their mind, heart, and soul all lie ahead. There for the taking, for the one with the strength to reach them. Majesty, with your power we cannot fail. This weapon will be ours to command, and all of our enemies will fall before it. Ours, Captain? I think you overestimate your role in this operation. Simply put, this is a game of chess between myself and the other. We. And you, all of you, are pawns. 
Do I make myself clear? As Crystal Majesty, we await your orders. It's good to see at least one of you has sense, Inquisitor. Prepare to move out. I need to reach the Central Core and the other won't make it easy for me. Do your jobs and we won't have a problem. Fail me and the other will be the least of your worries. I'm picking up an energy signature nearby. It's repeating, like a signal. Someone wants our attention. Check it out, Inquisitor. As you command, Majesty. Is it making a bridge for us? Interesting. Let's hope it doesn't vanish beneath our feet. They could dematerialize a lot of things. The bridge, the air, us. Gonna go into a bit of theory crafting here. Someone, an old friend of mine, 117 Jorn, is not entirely happy with the with Wesley here being the emperor. Interesting gambit, wouldn't you say? My opponent is welcoming me with open arms. May I remind you, Majesty, that a successful gambit involves an initial sacrifice in order to gain the advantage later in the game. That's a good point. I'm looking forward to seeing what our host has in store for us. Let's not keep them waiting. That said, I would like to point out... It's loaded with energy, hard to get a clear reading. We need to get closer and scan it. Clever. The other has centralized the island's power within this matrix. We'll need to disperse it in order to advance. There are six exterior power nodes surrounding the central matrix. We need to energize them and initiate a power transfer from the matrix. I suspect the other will reverse the polarity in active nodes once it becomes aware of our actions. If it does, reinitiate the transfer as soon as possible. Once all six nodes have been energized, we'll be able to move to the next island. Keep your eyes open for any defense systems, Inquisitor. The other might have more tricks up their sleeve after all. Who knows? You might get to shoot something and show off some more for the Emperor. Hey, try not to get fried by those power nodes, Inquisitor. That would be just... terrible. Save your spite for the enemy, Captain. As I was saying, we don't know the qualifications for... Ah, countermeasures. Destroy that drone before it undoes your work. I see, they haven't fixed that bug, not entirely. As I was saying though, we don't know the full qualifications for what it takes to become a... ...traveler. And if... If we don't know the qualifications in either universe, we really can't say anything about it. In fact, Jorn and I got into a bit of an argument on the matter. And he got really annoyed at me for something that wasn't my bloody fault. After all... We're halfway there. Sound off if you see another one of those annoying drones. Two more to go. Keep back. I can't... I can't tell him what I don't know. What no one knows. That was a first. Anyway... We don't know the qualifications for becoming a traveler. They could be something as simply... Just one more left. The power of math at work. Impressive. Well done. Deal with the remaining drones so we can move on. Gang's operation is We're on it. Tricorder's picking up another one of those command targets nearby. It's 
online and ready for access. See? The control killer. Right over there, Inquisitor. So, yeah, I... We don't know the qualifications for... Will you let me move freely? We don't know the qualifications. Deal with the new arrivals quickly. And if we don't know... Wow. Yes, I know they say something about some of the qualifications, but that isn't the full story, and everybody knows it. So. That said, I would prefer Jean-Luc Picard to be the Emperor. Of course, this being the Mirror Universe, he could be dead. All things being fair. So, I don't have a problem with Wesley being the Emperor or being a Traveler. The other has locked down access to command systems on this island. We need to destabilize local data security in order to advance. There are three data security locks here. Introduce intrusion programs into them to disrupt them. You'll have to do this one lock at a time. Disrupting one will open the next to attack, and so on. This level of hacking will take time. Considering what we've experienced so far, it's a sure bet the other will send more drones to stop us. So, you know, keep your guns handy. Get started, Inquisitor. Everyone else get ready to fight. The other won't take kindly to our intrusion. Take out that defender. It will reverse our work as long as it's linked with the system. What? Stop with the invisible walls. It's getting ridiculous. Anyway, we're not entirely sure what the qualifications are. So, can't do anything about that. That said, he has also made mention of, well, his mental instability. Let's be honest, Crusher is nuts. However, considering what we've seen from IDW, Crusher isn't entirely insane yet. But you know the old saying. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. We've seen that so many times with Trek, it's not even funny. Case in point. Will you... Stop with the walls. The only walls there should be are the places where I can't walk. Would you let me For the love of Stop it Stop it
Our final loss has started. Watch out for the defender. We've seen it with Gary Mitchell. We've seen it to a point with... Oh, for the love of... Let me go! Planes. Crusher's mental instability, becoming a traveler, just made him nuts. After all, in spite of his stability, in spite of a better upbringing in the Prime timeline, he wasn't exactly sound of mind and judgment there. Did it. Local data security has been utterly disrupted, and the command systems of this island belong to us now. Confirmed, Majesty. The access pillar is operational and open for business. Move out. Get to the next island before the other can regroup their forces. This is ridiculous. These invisible walls need to go. Deal with them. Wesley wasn't exactly sound of mind and judgment in the prime timeline, but he was a lot more stable, so... Being raised in the Mirror Universe has its own set of issues. So, him being crazy, Traveler Powers being you know, Mirror Universe. This is an unexpected move. This access tower is keyed into my genetic profile. If anyone other than me attempts to use it, a self-destruct sequence will be triggered. They want to test me personally. Hm. Battle of wits between kings. <laughs> this is probably an attempt to checkmate me, so to speak. So, while I play this little game, I need you to deal with any defenses the other sends our way until I turn the tables on. We'll wipe out any vermin that dares to attack you, Majesty. You can count on us. You heard the Emperor. Protect him at all costs. This would be far easier if I didn't have invisible walls. Combine the obvious fact that people from the Mirror Universe are not exactly uh, stable at the best of times. The lack of knowledge of qualifications as to how to become a traveler. And we get this. For the love of it. They're making another push. Fire it, Rail. Not good. Majesty, we're in trouble here. Hurry. Magic 
No! Unacceptable, Inquisitor! We will not withdraw! Alright, listen up. I'm only going to say this once. A completely reasonable event. Everything goes straight to hell. And someone recommends a tactical withdrawal. He goes crazy. Not exactly a good sign of mental stability. I'm disappointed. Disappointed in all of you. I would expect Terran officers of your caliber to be capable of fending off a few combat drones. But sadly, that was not the case. Instead, I had to intervene and use some of my personal power to eliminate the threat. Power I could have used in the upcoming conflict with the other. If you do, it will be for the last time, Inquisitor. Nothing else matters but my conquest of the other. Do you understand? Not you, not Tilly, not the Empire. Nothing. And this is where it all goes wrong. See, we all know what happened to the Empire, reduced to a single solar system. Nothing is more important than the Empire. We... we will see this through to the end, Majesty. And your inevitable victory for the Empire. And, of course, she gets put in her place, as it should be. Concerns about the Emperor's state of mind. He seems erratic, unstable. If his condition deteriorates, our mission and the Empire itself will be in jeopardy. Is very close to treason here, Inquisitor. Because we need you to pull this mission off, I'm willing to ignore it once. But if I hear anything like that from you again, I'll drop you like a very bad ass. I won't let your weakness get in the way of my future. So, are we clear? Let's get moving. Find the next bridge control and activate it. Don't keep the Emperor waiting, Inquisitor. You're in enough trouble as it is. We're in the same aircraft. Don't forget that. We'll see about that, won't we? God, I hate those things. At any rate... Whoa! Yeah! Being a mirror traveler obviously makes you a little bit unstable. So... Let's see what the other has in store for us here. Don't bother, I've already run a scan. I'm reading a dangerous buildup in the island's plasma injector systems. This looks intentional. <laughs> the other's about to turn the island into a plasma oven in a desperate attempt to slow us down. There are a number of heat dissipators on the island. I believe the other will trigger them to flood the area with intense heat and roast us alive. Damaging the dissipator units will engage automatic safety protocols and force them to retract. Once we've done that, to all of them, the island will enter a cooldown cycle and we can advance. Okay, let's do this. And do it quickly. I'd rather not get burned alive, if you don't mind. It wouldn't be a party without the drones. Avoid the heat entirely. That won't be easy, especially considering, you know, the invisible wall. You mind? Let me let 
my only problem with this entire event. This very stupid invisible let me go. Let me go. Let This is a fair. It's a very reasonable thing to go. Hey, it's dumb. Get. Ah. This is. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to do this five more times. This is dumb. Looks like the last guy is up there. End of the line. Yeah. Invisible walls are stupid. You know, as much as I love TMP, I'm really sick of those probes. We have finally returned. Voyager 6. And here it is. The machine within the god. Conqueror 6. Sent from Terra long ago to seek out new worlds. Worlds ripe for conquest. And now, thanks to me, it will fulfill its purpose at last. Is the right call? Do I think I chose the winning team? Absolutely! Though, I am beginning to wonder whose side you're on. Well, what do we have here? You do realize that if Crusher pulls this off, we're all done for. Right? I'm thinking we don't give him the chance. We? <laughs> there is no we here. Just a traitor surrounded by loyal Terrans. Do the map, idiot. You're outnumbered and outgunned. It's over. <laughs> Is it now? 
I'm not so sure about that. See, there's a new goddess in town. Bow down! Or be destroyed. It's coming. Where is she? Get her! won't actively help me more than I have more than I don't have my own abilities Crusher doesn't care about anyone but himself the Empire is to an end for him and him alone keep your lies to yourself traitor She's not wrong. Take her out. I may hate her, but she's not wrong. If the Emperor is a danger to the Empire, deal with him. Archer wasn't wrong. Lita isn't wrong. There's only one god left around here. And honey, it ain't you. I'm really gonna enjoy this. He's going to destroy everything, Inquisitor! See? That's going to happen to all of us! You know I'm right! I think we've heard just about enough out of you, bitch! Funny, I 
feel the same way. Just about you. Oh! You. <laughs> ah, that's never gonna get old. Nice shot. Surprised you waited this long to take it. Better late than never, eh? Okay, now what? I have an idea. It's a long shot, but it could work. I'll be in touch. Assuming you survive this. Defiant. One to beam up. are about to arrive. We'll need to deal with them as fast as possible if we're going to have a shot at helping Ilea reach out to the other. Something is wrong. There is an unusual energy surge at the center of the other. A confluence of great power is happening. That's just great. Here they come. All ships, battle stations. Let's have some fun. Come, ye Terran bastards! What is it? The other has merged with the Emperor. We must leave, Captain. We must leave. Now. Enterprise to fleet. Initiate emergency transit.
it back. Barely. Most of us, anyway. You're right. I have a feeling this fight is just beginning. We're going to need every second to get ready for round two. I'd like to go over this more on the Enterprise. Please beam over as soon as you can. Before we left, I was able to sense conflict within the other. A struggle for control, for dominance. Not yet, but despite their great power, the other is still a child in many ways. They may not be able to resist the Emperor for long. As long as neither one of them gets total control, we will still have a chance to disrupt the merging. We may then succeed where we failed today. I've received word from Starfleet Command. Every ship in the fleet is on alert. It's the same story throughout the Alliance as well. At this point, the Admiralty believes it's not a matter of if the Emperor will attack us, but when. Tactical analysis teams are running simulations as we speak, based on every bit of intel we have. He has a keen military mind. I figure he'll start with our major star bases, shipyards, fleet supply stations. Anything vital to mounting a defense in key sectors. But of course he's going to hit Earth first because he's Terran. At that point, there won't be much to stop him from eliminating the capital worlds. Being a Terran, I suspect he'll start with Earth. From there, he'll take out inhabited planets one by one in all four quadrants until there's nothing left. It'll be a state of galactic genocide. As I said, the conflict between the Emperor and the other is not over. They are not of one mind. Yes, but if they are fully merged, they will only be vulnerable to a tremendous level of power. Power even a massive star fleet cannot generate. I know of only one source of power strong enough to stand against them if that happens. I know of two, but I severely doubt the Q are actually going to step in. Correct. I will go to Vija and seek their assistance in this conflict, but they are far from here. It will take time. Vija is a logical being. I believe it will realize the danger posed by the power of our enemies. A power that grows in strength with each passing moment. Such a power, driven by cruelty, cannot be unleashed. It would be the end of all things, even Vija. I really thought I had them. But the Parath, it abandoned me. What's worse? Just before I felt its presence leave me, I, I sensed fear in its mind. Fear of the Emperor and what he's become. I didn't think so either until today. If something that powerful is afraid of the Emperor and the other, well, I can't say I like our chances. We might not make it out of this one. This might be the end of days for us all. Easy for you to say. You weren't there. Even the Inquisitor was rattled. Might have been why she let go. Figured the apocalypse was an all-hands-on-deck situation, and anyone willing to stand against the enemy was worth saving. Speaking of, she's up to something. Some sort of long-shot plan that might help against Crusher. I'll let you know. One thing your mirror self is good at is eliminating problems. If they have something, well, <laughs> gives me something to look forward to in the face of what to your soul Armageddon. Anyway, I don't expect we'll have to wait long for our marching orders. When the time comes, I'll be ready.
Goodbye, Pavo. You will not be missed. The loss of Pavo is devastating, and could be the first of many tragedies ahead. Every system throughout the Alliance is at a state of emergency. Top personnel are assembling to prepare a last-ditch defensive effort against the Emperor. From what we can tell, he's toying with us, heading toward his final destination, ignoring any forces that try to stand in his way. Slowly but surely, he's making his way to Earth. That's what will make our stand. And we won't be fighting alone. Make your way to the Sol system as soon as you're able. Win out. <laughs> House Code Gaming, signing off.